Welcome back to the hot spot, everybody. I'm Myron Smothers. <laughs> and I'm Cortland Johnson. Now, I'm sad to say that we won't be having episode next week. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm low-key jigging it at. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be <laughs> gonna be eating turkey, eating good, oh, rubbing our bellies on Thanksgiving break. So that technically makes this our Thanksgiving show, right? Technically, technically. And it wouldn't be right if we didn't start off our Thanksgiving show like this. Roll the clip. December was Christmas. Time, and I'm walking off the show. I'm tired of hearing that. He's been singing it all day. I'm tired of it. Roll the clip again. She's gone. <laughs> you said it. I didn't. Anyways, <laughs> but more seriously, since it's close to the holiday, let's tell the hot spotters some things that we're thankful for since it's Thanksgiving season. Well, I'm thankful for the hot spotters. I'm thankful for family, friends, you know, good health. I uh, mean, but those are kind of cliche. Tell the people what you're really thankful for. Well, if that's the case, then let's get to it. I'm thankful for uh, Instagram, though it's nice to see the way people look and to look at their thoughts and the inspirational quotes. I just love the fact that it's easier to holler at women now. Let's be real. What's the most popular pickup line for guys today? Hey, girl, uh, <laughs> you got an Instagram? Works every time. A girl never turns down a new follower because that's a potential new like on her pictures. After y'all connect from following each other, you just slide your cell phone number under a pic that's like a... 45 weeks old, and bam, you in the dope. What am I thankful for? Girdles. Yes, Lord. Girdles do the trick every time, Jesus. They just suck you up and smooth you out in all the right places. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for girdles. I, I, don't, I wouldn't be the woman I am without them. Oh, I had to scratch myself. I'm also thankful for another social network in Vine. Though I enjoy getting the laughter from the six-second clips, I more so enjoy and appreciate its exposing ability. I love how the women that used to hide behind the filters on Instagram are now exposed so I can see them for their true light. And us fellas, we'll stop being catfished. I am ever so truly thankful and appreciative for Five Dollar Tuesdays at Popeyes. <laughs> that, that, that two piece with a side and a biscuit. Whew, get me off the camera, Barbara. I just, it's just, it's, you okay? it's so clutch, Byron, like. But see, but, <laughs> well, hold up, wait, but the thing, the thing I don't get, Corlin, is, you know on Tuesdays they have a, they have another special where you can get a three-piece instead of a three-piece for one ninety nine, and by the time you add a side and a biscuit, it's about $5, so my combo is better than yours. Uh, I'm going to exclude the shade yourself. from you, that you comment and just the take the valuable knowledge that I've learned, because you learn something new every day. Thank you, Myron. Appreciate that. And so, maybe, what? maybe, what? I'm taking her line, maybe we can learn something from Mr. Neely Nation himself, Chanel. What you got? Well, Myron, today I am thankful for my family, my friends, and most importantly, my failures. Because failures shape how you succeed in the future. I mean, just look at Jordan. He fails to switch up his style and wears Abercrombie and Aeropostale shirts every single week. But yet he keeps coming back strong. So my word to that is fail on, Jordan. Fail on. Welcome back to Mike Check, the music section of the hotspot with me, Chanel Malik Reed. First up, everybody knows that there's one hip hop artist that's bound to be in the tabloids all the time. That artist is Kanye West. Kanye West was on the Ellen Show on Monday where he premiered his latest video for his new single, Bound. Kim Kardashian, yes Lord. Now Mr. West talked about his family life as a family man with his partner Kim Kardashian and little baby Northwest. So it's really good to see Kanye West in a good life for a change as a family man. 
Now, next up, R. Kelly is slated to perform right here in Baton Rouge, people. The Pied Piper of R&B music will be in Baton Rouge performing all of his old and new hits on Thanksgiving night at the compound. Now, R. Kelly has been featured in Lady Gaga's new song entitled, Do What You Want. And also, he has been promoting his new album called Black Panties. Nice name. R. Kelly always manages to reinvent himself, so I'll be curious to see what he does with his next project. But speaking of R. Kelly, this week's Song of the Week is coming from freshman mass comm major and my little sister, Shantae Reed. She chose the single PYD by Justin Bieber featuring R. Kelly. Look at Justin Bieber trying to get his little grown man on, talking about putting down... Uh, let me stop. Lastly, Baton Rouge legend Webby's new CD, Savage Life 4, has just been released. So everybody go give it a listen. Now, I, have heard, I haven't heard it yet, but I got mixed reviews from a mixed view of people, so be the judge for yourself, people. Also, Alpha Week is still going strong, so don't forget Thursday night. Game night at the Fred House, Baraka's fashion show on Friday, and last but not least, the annual Miss Black and Gold pageant in the Cotillion Ballroom with me performing. But I'm not rapping, so I'm a rapper. What can I do? You got to come out and see. But that's my time, people, to make sure your song of the week is next week's song of the week. Tweet to It's Nilly. That's I-T-S underscore N-I-L-L to the Y. Nilly Nation, stand up. 06. 06. But uh, have <laughs> I don't know. I just had to, I had to do ends. it. Had to do it because he did it. A couple things before we go on, Corlin. Number one, me and Corlin are hosting Miss Black and Gold uh, this Sunday, mm -hmm. so make sure you come out. We, those alphas been working hard on that patch. It's gonna be a lovely, lovely event. And Friday, we should be Friday. Walking first. in Baraka, so I host. I walk. I got bars. Yes, off on the site. I'm just jack of all. And things. I'm hosting that. You know, somebody uh, said I wasn't the best host on campus. <laughs> they lied. So I'm just throwing. Couple of, hosting a couple of events, you know, throw my chops back out there. Let people know it's levels. Levels. Okay, this. Myron, that's enough. But anyway, also another thing, am I the only person tired of Kimye and Baby Compass? Because I'm tired of them. Baby I'm just tired of them. Like Compass. Whatever, no, Southwest, South by Southwest, uh, the American baby Airlines. Name is Northwest. What? American Northwest. Airlines? Oh, something. I don't know. I'm tired of her. What? Myron. Next? Well, Myron. Cousin, you know, I, I didn't even know about the Bound 2 video. I've been too busy with school and work. I've been out of the entertainment loop. You need a break. I do. You really do. You you talking a lot. You need a break. I always talk a lot. Anyways, <laughs> I'm I, ready for the holidays. I know you're ready for the holidays. And you're right. And speaking of holidays, I got some issues with some things going on this oh holiday season. So with that being said, it's time for the Hot Spot Brand of the Week. Brought to you by the Hot Spot. Holidays just don't feel the same. And I don't think I like how they're changing. For one, it's like America's trying to skip Thanksgiving this year. All I've been seeing since the beginning of November is Christmas promo. The Best Man Holiday, a Christmas, mo a Christmas movie, came out mid-November. And it's also too early for me to be seeing Santa outside asking for money outside my malls and my Walmarts. We have a holiday before Christmas. I love the Lord and I'm glad he was born on what we call December 25th. But we, I like to give thanks as well. And also, I have an issue with uh, one of my favorite holidays, Black Friday. Yes, I love to go get my sales, but it just don't feel the same. I remember getting my uh, turkey eating on all day, taking a nice little nap, waking up extra early to go for Black Friday. But now I got to eat and go get ready and to stand in line because the sales start on Thursday. Um, I don't know about you, but in kindergarten, I, I learned that Thursday, Friday, like Thursday came before Friday. Get it together, America. Mainly Macy's. It's y'all fault. Y'all the ones do it. It's Macy's. But that's my rant. Are you done? Are no, you done? No. Because Are you done? I have a Christmas wish list, but we'll talk about that on, on the Gee next show. Whiz. Obviously, he's feeling some type of way. You just talk for like a minute and ten seconds like I was watching the clock. Just straight mind. Nobody want to hear you that much? I was going to make a joke, but we're not going to do it. I'll save it for after the break. Welcome back, Hot Spotters. My name is Jordan Hicks, and not only am I thankful for this upcoming Thanksgiving break we're taking, I'm also thankful that I got to sit down with the cast of The Best Man Holiday in my new segment, Midnight Conversations. Take a look. Welcome to Midnight Conversations. My name is Jordan, and tonight we have the cast of Best Man Holiday. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> it is exciting. Mm -hmm. Day. I'm playing part of the day when exactly. you just get a little punchy. Yeah. Is there something wrong with, with your leg, Sanaya? The movie, uh, uh. All right. Tay, did you do that? Mm -hmm. Tay said, I did that. No, let me know if you want some lessons. 
But it, we'll talk. We'll talk after this. Those, no, he's one of the. Look. That's that's the move. Should I be taking notes? <laughs> do it again. Right do it again. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no. Um, I like your form. So, Melissa, tell me a little bit more about working with this director on the second installment of the series. He knows how to work with us. He's he's like our father, not father. Yeah, we're not, he's, he's a not co collaborator. Old. Yeah, co um, collaborator. Yeah, co what is yeah. He's collaborator. Collaborator. Yeah, it doesn't sound right, though. No, it doesn't sound right. Well, it is. It is right, Mr. Howard. And I need you to be completely honest. Are you drunk right now? As I'm cockeyed. Who drinks before an interview? We're light skinned. <laughs> that can't be your excuse every time. It just can't. It can't. It's not my excuse every time. It's my excuse a lot. It's not my excuse every time. All right. So the next question is for Nia Long. Okay. My name is Jordan. Your name in the movie is Jordan. When are we getting married? How do I know that you're that you're that you That's really silly. love me? Are you That's acting? A silly, do you silly know what question. I mean? I've done everything that a fanboy can do. I liked your Facebook. I follow you on Twitter. Come on now. They lost all their hair and don't know what to do with themselves. <laughs> really? Really though? You about to sit here and talk about these guys being bald? You have steel wool on your head. What what's your excuse for that? We're light skinned. <laughs> Am I like this? Am I like this all the time? Terrence Howard later passed out on my couch that night, but he did pick up after himself in the morning, and for that, I respect that light-skinned brother. Now, if you haven't already, check out The Best Man Holiday in theaters now. Let's, check it, let's take it to Channing. Thanks, Jordan. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Chatting with Channing. And I'm obviously thankful for fam and friends, but I'm also thankful for art pop and food because Lord knows I hate to be hungry. But let's get started, shall we? My best look of this week is my girl Kim Kardashian. She looked amazed this week. I had to choose two pictures. On the left, I love the top, the skirt, the shoe, and most importantly, I love all white. This look is giving me all types of life. And she's wearing a pop of color on her lip. Plum is perfect for this season, like I said. And on the other side, she looks so chic. I love the color combination she used. The shoe pops with the green. In the skirt, I'm obsessed. And now for my worst dress of the week, Jennifer Lawrence. But before I get into this disappointment, I just want to address this new hairdo she has. I hate, hate, hate this cut on her. She looks like a 45-year-old soccer mom. Like, her neck is too long for this. Maybe if it was chocolate or something, I might like it, but I don't know. Anyways, moving along. This dress looks so cheap. It's like a bridesmaid's dress from City Trends or something. Like, what made her think? that this mesh at the bottom was okay. Like, did the designer run out of material? I'm not understanding. And then those church heels, she really looks like a shelter girl who's trying to take a risk. This is a no-no. It's time for Who Wore It Better? First up, we have Bella Thorne and Casey Musgraves. Bella Thorne, Casey. They're in the same blue marine gown. I think they both look pretty, but I choose Casey on the right out of the two. I like her hair better and the glitter clutch, clutch really sets the whole look off. Next we have Nicole Richie to the left and Molly Cyrus to the right in the same Marc Jacobs gold gown. I have to give it to Nicole. She looks so chic and she is always giving me life. I don't know what Molly was thinking with this beanie on her hair, performing and whatnot, and then she's barefoot. But poor Molly, she has to take a break from her singing. You know, yeah, she, yes, Smilers, <laughs> she has been given doctor's orders to give her voice a rest. But in the meantime, Molly is letting her fans choose her next single. So get to tweeting, Smilers. But I'm not sure if there's a Hollywood bug going around or something, but NeNe Leakes was hospitalized Monday. Apparently, Nene suffered from having blood clots in her lungs. She felt sick and decided to see what was wrong. Thank goodness it was caught in the early stages. Nene is now back at home, getting plenty of rest, and she says she's blessed to be alive and is thankful for all the support. But it doesn't stop there. Rita Ora was also hospitalized on Monday. She passed out on set, modeling for Madonna's Material Girl teen fashion line in Miami. 
The 22-year-old British singer was rushed to a nearby hospital and was later released after being treated for heat exhaustion and dehydration. I hope all the ladies get the rest that they need because they work so hard. But that's all the tea I have for you guys today. But let's not forget, check out my blog, FabulousShannon.com, and vote for who you think wore it better. See you after the break. Welcome back to the hot spot, everybody. Marlon's not here today, so no MIA. But we're introducing a cool new segment today on the hot spot called Battle of the Sexes. So here with me, let me make sure y'all not too close to the elbow room. You need to get over. You, you, you. Okay, cool. We're good. So here with me today, I have, of course, Channing to my right and Jordan to my left. I think that's how, I hope that's how it looks when you're watching. And they're basically going to be discussing some questions on a topic that men and women usually disagree upon. Can y'all handle that? Y'all in school? I was born ready. Okay, so the topic for today is relationships. And the first question is, should a woman pay on dates? Hmm. Let's start with Jordan. Well, obviously, no. At the first date, a woman shouldn't pay. But after a while, after I've been paying every single time on every single expensive restaurant, like Cheesecake Bistro, like, that'd be adding up, right? So after a while, I think a woman should pay. Just as a surprise to the man. What do you think, Shannon? Um, Once we're in a relationship, I don't mind paying for things. But if you're trying to date me and get to me, you're going to pay for everything. Who said we had to go to Cheesecake Bistro every time in an expensive place? But when we go somewhere, you're going to pay for it until you're my boyfriend. I'll keep that in mind when we're at raising Hey, 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 ain't nothing like a woman who offers. See, you don't even got to pay for me. You just got to offer. You offer that. I mean, that means we need to be in a relationship because right. I'll take it. So the next question is a little deeper. Do you think in the world that we live in today that sex is a deal breaker in a relationship? Channing, we'll start with you. In the world we live in today, no. No elaboration? Oh, just simply because, I mean, let's be realistic. Everyone's having sex, so. You? It's 2013, man. You got to get it how you live, man. It can't be a deal breaker. It so, can't be. So to make this... Questions, make this question like a little more specific. If a girl says she wants to wait to marriage, is, is she a girl that, that's dateable for you? It depends on who's asking. If Nia Long asks me to wait till marriage, I'll wait till I'm 87 years old. Well, she'll be like 120 something. She's old. That's a fine 120. <laughs> you're, you're right. Okay, and the last question. I know Shannon, this, Shannon, uh, this question might touch Shannon in a, in a place close to home because she ranted about this. But uh, Jordan, we'll start with you. Is Chivalry dead? Or is that just something that women think is dead? I don't think it's dead in everybody. It's definitely dead in a few people. But I feel like females play a pivotal role in, in chivalry. I think in some men, chivalry died when women called it thirst. That is, hey, I, I never thought of no, it that way. That no, was no, no. Thirst is stuff. not the same thing as chivalry. It's open the door. Myron just now took this chair. Um, and we was, we was missing the shell. He should have went and got that shell. He's going to make me go over there. It was the most he could have went and got it. But anyways, that, chivalry that is happen. dead. Open the door. Pay for the dates. All it. My thing is this. And then after this, we're going to uh, go to a break. But women, you, you, you guys, are, they like to be on this independent thing. I'm going to open my own door. I don't got to wait for you. I can pay for it. Mm -hmm. I don't got, you, you don't got to pay for me. I'm independent. That, you know who you saw that is? Neo. And Lil Boosie. <laughs> no, Miss Independent. Oh, yeah, that's Webby. And I N D E P. Okay, but. You think he spelled it wrong. Okay, <laughs> that's it. We're going to toss the break. I never have been hooked on phonics. Welcome back to the Hotspot. I'm Kendra Turley here with your favorite segment, Kendra's Campus Connections. And I've got to say, lately I've been hearing a lot of talk about the old LSU. My boyfriend is a proud LSU alumni and he talks about how LSU just ain't what it used to be. But he isn't the only one though. Many other students reminisce on what LSU used to have or what it used to be like. I went to Twitter to see what hotspotters would like to see or what they missed from the good old days. I see underscore Dyke said meal transfer, and I'm not going to lie, I couldn't wait to swipe my meal card for that meal transfer at Taco Bell back in the day. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Love to be underscore spoiled says the quad used to be popping from 1030 to 130 every single day. Alley Man 6 said a defense. Oh, well, I mean, I guess 
there it is. Um, I definitely agree, but don't even get me started about LSU football. Anyways, obviously we can't go back into time, so I thought we could brainstorm some ways to make students feel more excited about being at LSU. This is our home. So I went to Twitter to see what new element hotspotters wanted to see on campus. At by Candace said a Popeyes. Her response was exactly the same as 10 other people who responded after her. And as you can tell, Cortland and my room were talking about it in the beginning of the show. We have been requesting a Popeyes for the longest time. And by we, I mean half of LSU's population. And Auxiliary Services is finally starting to listen. Just a little bit, maybe. They've posted a survey on their website for students to request new dining locations in the LSU Student Union. So if y'all are serious about getting a Popeyes, I mean serious, serious, serious about getting a Popeyes, or any other food place for that matter, be sure to log on to www.as.lsu.edu and take the survey under the forums tab. Everyone talked about what they're thankful for, so I guess it's time for me to say what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my lovely family, of course, my mom and my dad for working so hard to provide for me. I love y'all so much. Um, I'm thankful for my friends, and I'm definitely, definitely thankful for the Hotspot cast. They keep me weak every single day. I love y'all. That's all the time we have for today, but I'll see you guys next time, or not next week, so two weeks from now here on Kendra's Campus Connections. Welcome back to the Hotspot, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the show today. You know, we decided to stretch our legs a little bit, you know, lift them up. Ah. Check out the footwork. I'm so glad he had shoes on. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, dressing up a little nice, you know, try a little something, something. But before we go, remember to follow us on our social network. Didn't so I tell you to add my Instagram handle on here? We, How we, to get my followers we, up? We put it I on, need likes. We put it up here so Courtney can spell it right. So we're going to follow the Hotspot Twitter oh, at oh, oh. the T-H-E Hotspot underscore T-T-V I'm sorry. Twitter. Let me get the spit off the TV screen because he definitely just spit on it. And Instagram. Instagram at, at Hotspot TV. Why they're not the same? Blame producer Vanity. She's in the, uh, she's mm -hmm. in the studio putting in work. Uh, Jordan just did a light skin. Ooh, trying to be messy. But uh, we're not going to we're not going to accept that. Ooh. You know. Kill him, kill him, kill him. See y'all after the break. Oh, not after the break. See y'all in two weeks. Bye. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Eat some turkey for me. Save me a plate. Bring me a plate. Oh, six like Chanel.